Recently, I purchased a pack of five micro USB to USB C adapters off of eBay. Total cost was less than $5. While most of the cables I tried these with worked fine, an old cable from a Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, didn't fit easily. An anomalous cable was not the primary problem I ran into with uh, this adapter. The main issue I ran into was that the current I could get with a native USB-C uh, cable uh, was far greater than the current I could get with this adapter. I decided to go through the uh, adapters one by one. A peak current of uh, 0.46 amps was all I could get out of four out of the five adapters. The fifth adapter I tried exhibited the strange behavior you're seeing here. The current would dance around. This behavior was not seen with the native USB-C cable or the other adapters. As you can see, the current draw gets as low as 1.59 amps. What's going on here? A look inside of one of these adapters yields the answer. Notice this component here? Looks like it's a capacitor. The dancing currents we see here uh, very well could be caused by bad capacitors, so I think we've got this one figured out. Bit of a side note here. Now you may notice the empty pads here on the PCB. I'm guessing there was another capacitor there too. It must have gotten knocked off when I was removing the plastic housing. Not sure how that could have happened. I mean, I couldn't have been more gentle. Anyway. While this particular batch was bad, I think perhaps uh, spending a bit more money on a higher quality uh, micro USB to uh, USB-C adapter is still worthwhile, since uh, micro USB is still uh, much more popular than USB-C is for now. I imagine higher quality and more expensive uh, micro USB to USB-C adapters will have uh, decent caps and uh, therefore will give you much uh, more solid performance. I'm probably going to go ahead and keep the one I got the higher though inconsistent current draw from. I'll uh, throw it on a keychain, use it in emergencies for a uh, trickle charge while the device is off and the low current draw, while not ideal, will still get the job done. I'm assuming that uh, during a trickle charge while the device is off, dancing currents won't pose much of an issue either. Thanks for watching.